Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of Trailhead Explanations. In this video, we are going to cover unit group and categorize your data from the project create reports and dashboards for sales and marketing managers. So here we are going to create two reports. One will be from the existing one, which is opportunity by rep. This report we had created in our previous uh, unit challenge so we are going to use the same report and we will make some edits and updation into that report and save it as opportunities by rep and close month then the second report we are going to create from scratch uh, by using the bucket fields here we are we are going to use the concept of bucket fields how we can create them and how we are going to use it in our reports we will uh, see all this concepts in our today's video. So let's quickly launch our Trailhead Playground and I've already done that over here. Go to Reports tab and this will open up the list of all the reports that we have in our org. So uh, as of now, I am under Recent tab and here, if at all you do not find this opportunity by rep report over here, you have to simply go to All Folders, select Global Sales Report, and inside that you will find opportunity by rep a report uh, using which we have to create a new report. So click on far right, uh, you will find this drop down icon, select edit option. And this will open up the report uh, builder screen for us where we have to make our edits. So the first thing that we have to do is we have to check whether our report uh, has been grouped rows by the field opportunity owner. So let's quickly check whether our report has been grouped. So under group row section, if you will find if you find opportunity owner field coming up, that means your report has been grouped uh, by using opportunity owner field. And if you find and the other way to find whether our report has been grouped uh, by using opportunity owner. So under opportunity owner column, if you find number inside parenthesis, that means this report has been grouped by using opportunity owner field. So as of now, uh, our report has been grouped, so I'm not going to uh, change anything over here. If at all it is not grouped in your case, you can add, click on this add group search bar and simply search for the field over here and select the field. This will automatically group uh, this report by using the field opportunity owner. So let's quickly move on to the next step where we have to group close date field by, uh, uh, we have to simply select close date in order to group columns by using the close date field. So let's go back here. The first way again we have is you can uh, simply uh, under group column section, you have to type here close date and selecting it, it will group this report uh, by use, uh, group this report by column using this field, right? Uh, the other way here we can do is you have to scroll towards uh, where you will find this close date column and Select this checkbox against close date and you will find an option group columns by this field. So simply select that option and this, you will find that this field has been will be added to this group column section as you can see. So this report has been grouped by columns and rows as well using opportunity owner and close date. Now the next thing we have to do is we have to group a date by calendar month. So uh, let's quickly go to close date column again and select this drop down icon. From here, hover over group date by option and select calendar month from this drop down. This will group our report uh, by date as well. Uh, it will group date by calendar month. Now, the last step that we have to do is we have to toggle uh, detail rows and stack summaries to deselect them. So let's, uh, if you will, uh, uh, see in the bottom, you will find that there are a few option row counts, detail rows, grand total stack summaries. So we simply have to deselect detail rows. This will uh, disappear, this table which is coming, uh, detail table which is coming just uh, at the bottom and also select stack summaries option from here. Once that is done, we are good to save our report uh, by the name uh, opportunities by rep and close month. So we will be using a save as option as we have to, as we do not want any changes to our existing reports. So uh, click on this drop down icon against uh, next to save button and select save as. Here you have to paste the name which we copied from our challenge and clicking on this unique name will be auto populated. The uh, report description, I'm going to copy it from the challenge, which is what opportunities do your sales reps have in the pipeline and when do they close. So copy this and paste it in the description text area. 
And next is uh, we have to make sure that our report is inside global sales report folder. And if you will see here in the folder uh, selection choice, we have the uh, folder choice. We have already selected global save sales report folder. So we do not have to change it. So click on save button and this will create a new report by the name opportunities by rep and close mark. So this was the first report that we had to create. Click on run and that's all we had to do for this first report. Now the second report that we had to create is of type uh, opportunities again. So I'm going to go to reports tab again. And here uh, you can either click on this report or using this drop down. Uh, okay, we are not getting. So simply click on this report uh, tab and here click on this new report button. Here you have to select opportunities from the left hand side and select the first option and click on continue. This will open up the report builder screen for us and here we have to make our changes. So the first change that we have to do is apply filters. There are two filters that you have to apply. A close date should be equal to current FQ and the opportunity in status should be open. So let's just check whether our filters are that way. So close date is already set to current financial quarter, which is fine. We do not have to change anything, but for the status, uh, we have to change it from any to open. So clicking on that, select open, open over here, click on apply. This will change the status uh, with open value only. Once that is done, go back to your uh, challenge screen. And here we have to remove certain fields, which are owner role, fiscal period, age, created date, lead source, and type. Let's quickly remove them as well. Go to outline tab here, remove owner role, fiscal period, then age is we have to remove this uh, column as well, lead source, Le uh, then type also we have to remove, and created date also we have to remove. Then uh, only nine fields is uh, what you are left with after the removal of all the uh, unnecessary fields or the fields that are not uh, supposed to be as per this challenge. Now next is we are going to cover up the bucket field, how we can create them and what, uh, how we can add it into our reports. So let's quickly go to our uh, report builder again. And against this column section, you will find this drop down icon. Clicking on this, you will find add bucket uh, column option click on this option and this will open up edit button uh, edit bucket column uh, model so here in the created by we have to remove this field and add amount so simply select amount here and the name that we are going to give uh, to this bucket field is size so i will copy this and paste it in the name text area now the first range that we have to provide over here is Five, uh, so if range is less than equal to 50,000, we have to name it as small. So I will do the same. So let's quickly enter the number over here in the range column. And for the name, I will type small. Then uh, click on this add button. And the second range that we have to give here is if range is greater than 50,000 to one lakh. So I will copy this one lakh from here and paste it in the enter number text area. And the name that we are supposed to give is medium. So I will be pasting the name in the name text area. That's all we have to do. The third range will automatically come up, which is uh, if range is greater than one uh, lakh. And uh, the name that we are going to give is large. So let's copy this and paste it here as well in the name text area. Make sure this checkbox is checked, uh, which is by default already checked. So ensure that it is it remains checked over here. Click on apply. So this will create a field or the bucket field we can say by the name size. So as you can, if you scroll down, you will find this size field. And if you scroll to right, you will find the size field has been added over here. So how this field works actually is, so the field on which we had created this uh, report was on amount uh, we had created this bucket field was on amount field so let's check this if our uh, amount value is 15000 which is which is coming under the range of uh, 50000 less than 50000 our first range 
then the size should be small. That way, if you will scroll to the size column, you will find that for our first record, our, this is coming under first range, which is less than, our, uh, if amount is less than 50,000. As of now, it is uh, 15,000, which is less, and the size is coming up small. That way, it filter out and bucket our uh, data, uh, bucket this field based on the value that we have, uh, based on the field value that we have specified in our bucket field. So amount is the field that we have uh, that we have specified in our bucket field. Now uh, the next thing we have to do is we have done we are done with our bucket field. Now we have to group our report based on opportunity uh, stage, opportunity owner, and by the bucket field size. So let's quickly do that. Uh, so opportunity owner, we are going to use this field to group rows, uh, and we are going to. Again, uh, you are, we are going to group rows again by using stage field. So let's quickly do that. So against uh, this opportunity owner column, just go to this drop down and select group rows by this field. And we are going to do the same for the stage field as well. So scroll to a stage uh, column and here also select group rows by this field. And for the size, we, are, we have to uh, group so uh, we have to use a size column or the field to group columns by using this size field. So scroll towards right to where you will find the size column. Select this drop down and select group columns by this field. Now, if you notice that the fields that we had mentioned uh, for the group rows has been added over here. And for the column one, the size has been added in this uh, group column section. Now, the final thing that we have to do is we have to uh, slide the toggle next to details row, subtotals, and grand total to, de to deselect them. So let's quickly do that. Uh, these uh, detail rows has to be deselected, subtotals as well we have to deselect, and grand total also we have to deselect. So that's all we have to do. And the final step that we have over here is we have to save our save and run our report by the name pi uh, pipeline matrix report current FQ. So I will copy this and going back here, I will click on save and run. Paste the name in the name text area, unique name will be auto-populated. Description, I'm going to copy it from this uh, challenge. I will copy this and paste it in the description text area. The final thing that is uh, we have to make sure that uh, folder is global sales report. So I will just ensure that as well. So as of now, it is not. So click on select folder button here and go to global sales report and simply select on, uh, click on this select folder button. Once this is done, you will find that uh, our folder has been updated with global sales report. Click on save and this will uh, run our report as well. That's all we had to do for both of these uh, reports that we had in our pipeline. Let's quickly uh, scroll down and click on verify step to earn 100 points, whether we have made all the necessary changes which will qualify us to uh, complete this units challenge. Let's wait for uh, our results. Uh, There you go, this unit has been completed. See you in the next video with another unit. Till then, thank you.